The Colorado 600 is all about uh, building new friendships. And I can't tell you how many new people I've met on this ride who have become lifelong friends. And uh, when you share those experiences together, uh, it creates that bond that will never die. And, and I'll go all around the country or all around the world for that matter, bump into people that I've met on this ride and the connection is there, it's real. And when you share that, um, you've got friendships forever. Isn't, that's what it's all about. So I think the Colorado 600 is a really fun experience for a few reasons. One is some great trail riding, but a second is the quality of people that come here. You know, we have national champions, we have Dakar racers, we have six days riders, we have people who have been all over the world doing interesting stuff on motorcycles. And so it's not just another big group, it's a pretty, pretty focused group of people who really care about the sport, live it, breathe it, and, and it's such fun to gather around the fire and hear the stories. Well, the Colorado 600 is a dual purpose event, really. And uh, when I say dual purpose, that's not the riding, but it's a trail symposium to help people be educated on proper trail etiquette, on the things that are happening about either trail closures or trail openings, working with the Forest Service and the BLM, and then we also talk a lot about riding and then we go and do a lot of riding. So, so we get both in. So the Trails Preservation Alliance is a um, 501c3 organization that works to keep uh, trails open in the state of Colorado. We also help uh, some of our, our surrounding states uh, like New Mexico and Utah and Wyoming and South Dakota. I've been putting on the Colorado 600 for the last 20 years. Started off with a very small group of dedicated friends of mine, and we would take around for a week and we would travel the state. Every night we'd stay someplace. We had one of the wives in a big trailer with a field truck on the back of it, and we'd go from town to town to town. And we used to be able to go straight from Uray, straight into Creed, Creed over to Monarch, Monarch back around, end up back in Uray all over the state we've lost so much terrain that I decided that I needed to start an organization. So me and a bunch of friends of mine, some guys from Texas who like to ride here, they put the TPA, gave us some money and we formalized the TPA. The TPA Colorado 600 is a five day symposium where there's like-minded people that get together. We learn about being an activist out there on the trail, and we also get a ride. And when I say ride, I mean ride. All day long, every day, uh, we start off each morning, kind of cool, we have, a little, we have breakfast, a little symposium. We learn about the state of our sport. So we learn about what's going on with maybe some of the challenges we're, we're up against with access to trails or areas that have um, travel plans that are coming due, so places that we need to get involved and make sure we're doing what we can to keep the trails open and keep access for off-road motorcycles. We encourage people to be a part of your local club because local clubs are the grassroots that start the relationships with the Forest Service, BLM, and they also give the feedback to the TPA when there is an action that we need to get involved with Without that local involvement, we oftentimes don't know what to look for. So get involved with your local club, get involved with the TPA, send, send an email to info at coloradotpa.org and we'll get back to you and we'll uh, help fill you in and get you engaged in the program. The Colorado is in the forefront right now of motorized recreation. It is growing leaps and bounds. Motorcycles, ATVs, UTVs, four-wheel drives, even the electric bikes, we're starting to see them come out. And if we don't protect the single track trails in this state, we're gonna have no place to ride. And so I'm here with the TPA to uh, help ensure that my kids and my grandkids have a chance to ride these awesome mountains that God created and uh, that we, we get to enjoy them. Uh, everybody does. So. I would encourage you to find out more about the TPA. I would encourage you to get involved, whether it's volunteering, whether it is with your checkbook, wh whatever it might be, make sure and get more involved. And to do that, go ahead and click the link below. Thanks for watching.